type. This is a simple drag and drop activity that is enriching and uh, visual to allow uh, faster learning. All right. So in this case, okay, this tutorial will be showing you how you can create such a drag and drop activity. It's a short time, all right, and it's uh, very simple to do. Okay, where you the audiences will only be allowed to drag those pictures that you want them to drag, while the rest of the things are actually stayed as background, right? How you like that? Okay, so the next moment. You shall learn how to create this simple ABC training drop activity site. Please kindly subscribe right at the bottom, alright? Or and type in the comments I subscribed. Alright, thank you so much. Hi! This simple tutorial is to teach you how to go about creating a simple ABC drag and drop activity. Let's dive right in. First of all, Create a folder that uh, you want to save your activity in, right? Let's say I want to save my activity inside here. I want to create drop and drag and drop activity. Okay. So what I will do is within the folder, I will click on name to create a new Google slide. All right. Okay. Click on Google slide and create. So within that folder, a new Google slide will be open up. Okay, so within the Google slide, what you need to do is to create a background or start. Okay, so and uh, of course, as you must know, what is the topic or the, the concept that you want to uh, do your drag and drop on? Okay, for the topic. Okay, so what I'll be doing for the demo purpose, All right? Okay, All right, and draw. I'll be using a concept called the category okay. so it is about sports and there are three different types of categories of games okay so for start just make it very interesting for the person participating in your activity okay it's important to have a beautiful background okay. so what you need to do is very simple okay for uh, you, you just need to find a picture okay for the particular idea that you want right so for example you may want to and uh, it's very simple to add a picture in google slide that is to click this picture symbol drop down you will see either you already have some picture that you want okay if not then if you have totally no picture you can go and search in on that all right click on search on what okay on the right panel just type any idea that you would like to have so Let's say I, I, I would like to use this uh, game's idea within the, the whole okay, uh, sports hall. Right, any of these ideas might be very good. Okay, so let's do let's use a very clean one. Let's say I take this one. Okay, beautiful. Nice flow. So what I can do is I just have to drag it over. It will form a new copy. Okay, on the slide. Alright. Okay. Alternatively, what you can do is okay. Then another way to create it on the slide is to just click with the tick and then you click insert or you just or you just double click. So three ways for you to insert the picture from the back into your slide. Okay, so what you need to do is just to align it. Okay, and you can drag it out to cover the entire space. As this is a simple drag and drop, okay. Um, what we need to do is to create a table straight away for the categorization, all right, where pictures can be put into the boxes, all right. So what I'll do is, okay, I will need therefore a table, okay, table with uh, three columns because I have three categories and um, naming uh, category one row and another row for the pictures allocation. Okay, so two rows all together. So for now, let's um, just format the table. Okay, so we click on the table. All right, um, the lines are very thin. So what we will do is we increase the line colors and sizes. Okay, so once you know that the box is created, it's, it's clicked. All right, with a highlight, you can click on the border color. And for me, I would like to have 
purple. Okay, All right? You can see that lines are now darker in color in purple. Okay, and I like it thick, thicker so that um yeah, it's also very easy to to for the audience to see. Okay, so maybe size four. Okay, thick enough. So and of course I would like it bigger for more pictures to be inside. All right. So maybe in this case, uh, yeah, drag it all the way to the end. Two sides. All right, and a little bit higher. Okay, and and because the first row is just the names category, so the need to be so big. I need more space at the bottom. Okay, for more pictures to go into. Okay. All right. So let's type in the category names. Okay. So the first one is net. Okay, so of course this looks a bit small and uh, the font doesn't look interesting. So what I'll do is I'll create, I'll actually create, um, I'll create a new font and new size for all the category names. Okay, at one go. So first of all, I would like it to be Comic Sans. Okay, very nice font that I like very much. And of course I like the size to be bigger. So you just look for these three dots here. Okay, more. Click on it, and you will see the size on the left side. Okay, yeah, you can actually slowly increase the size to your satisfaction. If not, you can click on the numbers and straight away go to the size that you want. All right. Okay. Okay. So, in, I would like it to be right in the uh, like the middle as well. Okay. All right. So I have the three categories. Okay. And I like it to be. And maybe I like there are more pictures so I need more space on top. Okay, so maybe just arrange a little bit on here. So yes, it doesn't take up so much space for the names. Okay. Alright, so now what we need to do is to um, give the title to the activity. Alright? So the title again, the title can be entered with text box. Okay, you see the text box over here? Okay, just click on it and then you'll find cross. I want to place the cursor in the slide and you just click anywhere you like. You can actually highlight box size and release. Okay, this will be the size that you'll be typing your title. So, the same way you will change the font size and the font uh, in the text box in the table, you can also change it similarly. Alright, click on the text box, click the font, change the size 24. I would like to emphasize on the title of the activity, so I will next bold the title here. Okay. This is uh, done by clicking on the three dots again, and on the left hand side you will see B. All right, and that's the bold. Okay, All right. and then now I like to expand the, the the box, the text box. Okay. This is done by simply just if I'm expanding on a horizontal basis, I'll just see if I'm going to expand on the right. I'll click on the center dot on the right side of the box, okay? And then you will see the two arrow left and right. That means that you can move left or right to size it, resize it, okay? Okay, and also I'll change it to a color that is also more visible with that background. And uh, the color of the text is actually through this <coughs> A sign with a colored line at the bottom. Click on it, and uh, I think. Watch be more pro pretty popular. Yeah, it's true. Okay, so I'm making it a little bit bigger, a bit nicer, and maybe underline, and that's also in the three dots under you. Okay, click underline. All right, that's it. Okay, so in this case, I would like to make it more interesting and colorful. Maybe for the titles of the categories, I would like to change color as well. Okay, so what I can do is to click on the three dots, go to the font color, text color, maybe something lighter, um, it's yellow. Okay, okay, so now the most important thing, and that is, that will be the different pictures of the three different games. Okay, um, however, if you really take a look at this, this is something I would like to show you. Okay, this is the interface where the, the in audience will be doing, or the students will be doing. The, the drag and drop. Okay. However, they can actually 
click and drag anything. They can drag the words, they can even drag the boxes away, um, you know, playful, right? So we, we wouldn't want them to do that. We want all these things that cannot be dragged and shouldn't be dragged, okay? So, right? So what I would recommend is that we make this as background instead of right in the slides itself. So how do you do that? Okay, so let me bring you through it. Okay, very simple way. So what you do is highlight everything that you have just created that you don't want the, the audience to move. Okay, highlight by clicking from the top left corner until you cover this tag, this box cover the entire slide, then you let go. Alright, you will be able to highlight everything that is in it. Okay, so what you do is you right click on it and you cut, making sure that nothing is left. Okay, alright, so what you do next is to go to view, go to master. Okay, and right on top is first master, you paste whatever you just cut. Okay, right on top of the, the, the whole thing. Just click anywhere in the box, right click and paste. Match. The entire picture that you created just now will be now in this master. Okay, and what does this do? It means that you click back on the picture, right? Uh, that's the that's like the picture is still there, alright, in the background. However, nothing on the screen can now be moved. Alright, so this will be the perfect scenario. Nothing else as a whatever you are going to attach in now can be moved. Okay, so you only want them to move the pictures and then you will attach the picture in the front interface. Cool. Okay, so now is the moment where you will add in all the other pictures. Alright, so if you go to the image again, search any other uh, pictures that you want that is related to the games. Okay, in this case, the category of net uh, uh, area. Oops. And now I like it to be PNG, and that means it's a transparent car. Okay, this um, body ball. Right, see, it's a transparent picture. Okay, cool. So we can just put the volleyball picture in one corner. Okay, so we'll quickly go through and now uh, insert other pictures. Yeah. Okay, since I know what the other things that I need. Okay, let me go. Okay. Maybe this cute little one. Maybe a good one. Let's take a look and see if it's uh, transparent. Yep, pretty good. Alright, I've go, gone ahead to select the last picture. Alright, and uh, that is cricket. Okay, so in this case, I'll just res resize it so that I can place it in this space here. Alright, yep. So in this case, I have all the pictures and the whole drag and drop is done. Okay. Like what I mentioned, okay, the audience will not be able to click anything else except the six pictures here. Alright, and then they will just move it into the correct category. That's it. Thank you for watching and hope you uh, will be able to create your own simple drag and drop games easily and within a short time. Okay. Have fun. This is only the first of a series of five different drag and drop activities that we'll be creating for you. Alright, so that you can use it for your audiences or your students in the future. Look forward to it. Alright, such activities will be fun, enjoyable, mind-blowing and enriching for your audience, especially in their learning, right? So, if you love more of such activities that are fun, okay, in, uh, and fun of course uh, as well to create, right, please subscribe and then you'll be notified of any coming up um, new games or uh, fun um, activities that will be showing you how to create. In the future, okay. Or well, if not, you can actually click, uh, click on any of the videos that are also uh, showing the different types of games that uh, is meant for learning. Okay, enjoy, have fun.